We have another fantastic find here at Moto Exotica. Right behind me is a Toyota SR5 4x4, or to your Toyota nerds, known as the Hilux. This is Toyota's third generation of this truck. They brought the truck to the United States basically 1979 in a 4x4 version, the SR5. It was the first year for Toyota to actually do 4x4 in the Hilux. I have a quick, small, personal story I really want to share with you guys on this truck. Basically, uh, growing up here in St. Louis, Missouri, I had a neighbor that bought one of these trucks basically brand new in 1984. I remember riding my bike by this house pretty much every day and lusting for that truck. It looked like nothing around, looked like no other truck in the neighborhood. I was like, what is that? I absolutely fell in love. But only a couple short years later, the truck literally was rusting away in his driveway. He liked that truck so much that he went out and bought a fourth generation, much like the one you see Marty McFly driving Back to the Future, the black one. He loved that truck so much, but same thing happened. I think about the time I was nine years old, it started rusting again in his driveway. I'll never forget though, I loved the truck so much that I begged my father to buy one when he was looking for a truck. He thought it was a neat truck too, he thought it looked cool, he wanted 4 by 4 I had him convinced, dad went up to go buy a new truck, and he came home with a Chevy S10 instead. The number one point I want to tell you guys about this truck is this truck is absolutely better than showroom condition. It was a nice California truck that somebody did an absolute stunning nut and bolt restoration and I can really say that this truck is better than new. Well, look at this freaking bed. The first thing I want to tell you guys is take a look at this thing because the bed is the heart and soul of a pickup truck. This is not a pickup bed from another Toyota. This is the original bed for this truck. And as you guys will see, everything is close to absolute perfect, if not better than new. And the story behind this truck of why this bed is so nice is this truck originally comes from a long-term California family. It was bought brand new in Sacramento of Toyota in California. And the first owner that bought this truck used it for camping only. So the first thing that he did was put carpet along this bed here, and he had a camper on top. He never took it off, and he sparingly used this car over many decades to go camping. So the second owner who bought this car, who was a Toyota nut, knew that this truck was really original, was really something to do, a full nut and bolt restoration to really make the best Toyota American market SR5 in existence. So from my vantage point down low here, really tells the story of how amazing this truck is. You basically look all over, up in the wheel wells, it all looks brand new, factory fresh. I even still have the real Toyota owned the Coney, you know, where it's supposed to be, and it looks absolutely the way it should be. You look at the frame, you look at the hardware, every nut and bolt, every brake line, every little detail of this truck is absolutely the way you're supposed to see it and just amazing. As I said before, this car came from California. It was a one owner for a very long time, and it really shows. The second owner was a Toyota nut, and he went absolutely ballistic restoring this truck correctly. You go underneath, it really tells the story. The sheet metal, all the original sheet metal is still there. The pans, still there. They got no pits, they got no holes in them. Yes, they have been repainted the correct color, but it looks the way it came out of the factory, and I cannot tell you, these trucks rusted so bad that you'd never see this whatsoever today. They rusted so bad that people went and bought Chevy S10s instead. 
We know that the bed is really an 81 because we have one, two, three hooks. 82 went to two hooks. So that right there tells me that this is the right bed. As we walk on, we got some, as more than my favorite, BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. Actually, no, they're mud terrains. Yeah, yeah, mud terrains, even better. So we walk around this, I want to show you probably the coolest part of the SR5 of this generation is the freaking graphics. I mean, it says screams 80s, baby. Absolutely 80s. Along with the white, it looks awesome. I love the wheel arches on the factory 4x4 trucks. I love the emblems. These trucks were just styling. Toyota was really making a unique product at this time. They had to stand out from any other manufacturer. So if you were looking for a real truck to use in the trails in the 80s, I don't really think there was a better uh, decision, really. This is, this is the truck to have. So much that Marty McFly did anything and everything to get one in the movie Back to the Future. And anyone that's my age knows how much we wanted these trucks after seeing that movie. This is the only year in 80 that has the round headlights. A lot of cars went to square headlights, rectangular he headlights in the 80s, mostly for regulation. But Toyota still had the round headlights in 81, and you can always set these apart by that cue. But take a great look. It's an awesome truck. Look at the graphics. It's just killer. Just look how crisp and neat this interior is. It's absolutely, almost, it is like a brand new truck. So if you went to a Toyota dealership in 1981 and you were looking at this truck, this is exactly how it was presented. This truck's got an absolutely pristine dash, which thankfully it's from California, but was not in the sun too much because it has no cracks. I don't see anything from the 80s that doesn't have cracks. So the interior tells the story of almost any car. And looking at all the little nits and bits of this truck really tells you how well taken care of this truck, how well cared for it was, and basically it really is as close as you're ever going to find this truck of this generation looking basically brand new. Um, it's a four-speed manual. You could get the five-speed a little bit later. But the best part of this truck is it's got a real 4x4 system. It's got a four high, it's got a four low. With a, with a transfer case and locking hubs in the front. Also, real quickly, my mileage is showing 73,000 miles, basically. I can't legally say it's actual mileage because the title says exempt or due, due to age, but I gotta say with the condition of everything and looking around this truck, probably actual mileage with, with just using my eyes and looking at this truck. But once you guys really study the inside, every little nit bit on this is here. The gauges, the knobs, it all looks so good. The headliner even, which those never last. It's just, this truck is unbelievable. But real quickly, what I really want to show you guys is how freaking tidy this engine is. Now look at this. This is the heart and soul of this guy. Wow. This is the 22R here. Basically, this is a 2.4 inline four cylinder that made about 100 horsepower. It was, for the time, it was a pretty capable motor. Actually, it still is. People absolutely love this engine. It's pretty in indestructible if you take care of it. But what I really want you guys to really take a look is just how tidy this engine is. Um, everything's there, everything's pretty correct. Whoever did the restoration on this was a Toyota nut. I see a lot of pieces that are actual OEM pieces, so he went and called every dealership for NOS parts or what have you to make this thing basically showroom fresh. But it's so nice that you could really eat off this thing. You literally could. You look all the way down in there, even down to the fan. It's all new. It's all fresh. But whoever's going to have this is really going to appreciate this. I know these trucks my whole life. I always look for them to buy and sell and get them out to the public. They're impossible to find, even in average condition. But have one in this kind of shape is unfreaking believable. This is going to be a great investment truck for somebody. If you're in your 30s or your 40s and you're looking for a truck to put your money in that you actually can enjoy and love, this is the truck. Because I can tell you when I'm in my 50s and my 60s, this is going to be the hottest thing out there if you keep this thing together.
As you guys can see, this is one stunning truck. The overall condition is absolutely, basically, as I keep saying, showroom new. Your opportunities to buy this truck are absolutely impossible. You're not ever gonna find a truck like this again. If you're from the 80s or 70s like I am, you lusted for this truck. Right now is your only opportunity to get this. Otherwise, you're really gonna wish you had a time machine so you could go back to this point and buy this absolutely stunning Toyota SR5 4x4 pickup truck.